In this very quick and short tutorial, I will show you how to uh, add a background to an image uh, in InDesign without having to go into Photoshop and actually uh, go through the process of extending the background, saving it, re-importing it, uh, yada, yada, yada. We're going to do it all in InDesign, uh, and it's very quick, very easy, and here we go. So on this document, this InDesign document, we have three frames. We have the frame that has the logo in it, we have the frame that has the image in it, and we have the frame that has the text in it. And what I want to do is I want to extend the the, uh, the background image that's in that the uh, image is contained in. I want to extend that background so that it would be a flood of color in the, ba in the background and uh, the uh, text would pop out and of course the logo would pop out. So the first thing we want to do is we're going to tap on the frame that has the image in it. We're going to extend that frame all the way up to the bleed at the top and we're going to ex extend it out to the bleed at the bottom. Okay. And now this is very simple. It's really, really quick. And when you see this, it's going to, uh, well, it's not going to change the world, but it's a, it's a quick fix without having to go into Photoshop. What we're going to do is, as we still have the frame selected, and we want to make sure that the stacking order is where the, where the frame of the image is at the very back, and then you have your text and your logo on top of it. So we've extended it. We have it. We tapped on it. We're going to go over to the eyedropper tool. And we're just going to sample the color at the very bottom of that image. And as you can see, it basically filled that image or that frame with that background color and it extended it uh, and extended it to the top and to the bottom. So when you look at it, it's almost flawless because that dark color matches the top and the bottom. And we have this effect where we are actually able to create a background without going into Photoshop. So that's a very quick InDesign hack, if you will, on how you can uh, extend background color in InDesign without having to go into Photoshop.